this 350 disc cutter just because I haven't got a exhaust to fit. The original exhausts are like this one on this other one, they're a bit shorter and they have at the back I think you can probably see uh, an extension on the manifold to keep the exhaust a little away from the body of the saw. This is a quick stop one but it's uh, virtually the same as the OHS standard one so this is all you need to do. If you've got the old barrel, if you've changed the barrel then you can cut like this one a piece off it if you chop it off down to the fins like that then use that piece to go on here in between the exhaust that'll keep it just far enough away to mount it but you do need to also extend the stud on the bottom so it's a fairly simple job here it's just screws on you can put it you can put if you want to take it all to bits and put a longer stud in or a longer bolt in you can do this was just an easier way to say it's taking off the flywheel so it's just threaded inside just screws on to extend it away a little bit so when you've got this on the extension just fits on there you'll probably find that it fits exactly the same way up as it came off when you've sawed it off, if you saw it off with a hacksaw, you chop two fins as well probably, you get it that way round. It goes the same way round as it came off because there's a little variation in the angle of it. But that goes on there and then the exhaust goes onto it as normal. Just It'll go on there like that. If I get it the right way up it might help it'll go on there like that. The other thing you do need to do is if you can see down the side is to take a little section out to miss that lug just there. There's a piece on the saw that sticks out and on the side of the TS350 exhaust you need to just take a little groove out with the grindstone and then it'll miss and line up okay. So with that bit in it'll just keep it a little bit away from the saw. So there you are, a simple trick just to fit an easily obtainable exhaust from a TS350 disc cutter uh, when you can't get the original. Uh, I'll just show you what the original is like again. It's just a bit shorter and it stands away. And that's all you're doing, just making it stand a little bit away. There we go, end of little lesson. And here we are with the exhaust fitted on. Uh, the distance there is roughly an inch that you need to be out from the body of the saw. And here it's probably about half an inch in old money out from the saw. But the piece you actually cut off like on this cylinder is that as much as you can which is down to the two bottom fins which is approximately let's have a look, about 15 something like 15 mil is the size of that flange that you're chopping off and there's one the one that's been chopped off off so that's the distance and that's how it ends up and it should work fine also, uh, you probably want a little bit of gasket sealant between uh, the silencer and the new bit of manifold um, just to seal it up as you've only got an exhaust gasket that fits on the inside. And there we are, that's it.